Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation x plus 500 whole cubed plus x is equal to 20. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we suppose that this expression x plus 500 is equal to m. Let x plus 500 is equal to m. If we move this uh, 500 to the right hand side, this implies that uh, x is equal to m minus 500. So we replace this uh, x plus 500 with this m, we replace this x with this uh, m minus 500. This will become m cubed plus uh, m minus 500 is equal to 20. Now we move this 20 to the left hand side this will become m cubed plus m minus 500 minus 20 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus m minus negative 500 minus 20 will become 500 and 20 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus uh, m minus this uh, 520 is same as uh, 65 times 8 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus uh, m minus this is 65 can be written as 64 plus 1 times this 8 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus m minus we distribute this 8 this will become 64 times 8 plus 1 time 8 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus uh, m minus this is 64 is same as 8 squared times uh, this 8 is same as 8 to the power 1 plus uh, 1 time 8 will become 8 is equal to 0. Now by using this property of exponents a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We add these two powers 2 and 1. So this will become m cubed plus m minus this will become 8 to the power 2 plus 1 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus uh, m negative times 8 cubed will become negative 8 cubed negative times 8 will become negative 8 is equal to 0. Now we group these two terms uh, m cubed and uh, negative 8 cubed and we group uh, these two terms uh, m and negative 8. So this will become m cubed minus 8 cubed. We use parenthesis to make this a group plus uh, this m minus 8 is equal to 0. So we have difference of uh, 2 cubes so we use this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This m cubed minus 8 cubed will become m minus 8 times m squared plus 8 times m plus 8 squared or 60 and from these two terms 
m minus 8 we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left m minus 8 is equal to 0 and as you can see this expression m minus 8 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, m minus 8 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, m squared plus uh, 8m plus 64 and this plus 1 in bracket left uh, m squared plus uh, 8 times uh, m plus uh, 64 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next m minus 8 times uh, m squared plus uh, 8 times m this is 64 plus 1 will become plus uh, 65 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression m minus 8 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus uh, 8 times m plus uh, 65 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 8 and from this uh, quadratic equation we write this m squared m squared this uh, 8 times m can be written as uh, plus uh, 2 times uh, m times 4 to complete the square we add here we add here 4 squared plus uh, this 65 and we subtract uh, 4 squared or 16 is equal to 0. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus uh, b whole squared this uh, m squared plus uh, 2 times m times 4 plus uh, 4 squared will become m plus uh, 4 whole squared plus uh, this is 65 minus 16 will become 49 is equal to 0. Now we move this uh, 49 to the right hand side this will become m plus uh, 4 whole squared is equal to negative 49 and uh, from here we take a uh, square root of both sides. So this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root we are left with uh, m plus uh, 4 is equal to plus minus uh, this uh, root negative 49 is same as uh, root 49 times uh, root negative 1. Next m plus uh, 4 is equal to plus minus uh, root 49 will become 7 and this uh, root negative 1 will become i. Now we move this 4 to the right hand side this will become m is equal to negative 4 plus minus 7 times i and first we found that uh, m is equal to first we found that m is equal to 8 first we found that m is equal to 8 now to find the values of x uh, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, x plus 500 is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, 500 is equal to m. So when m is 8 then this will become x plus uh, 500 is equal to 8 move this 500 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 8 minus 500 and this will become x is equal to negative 
492. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to negative 4 plus minus 7 i, then this will become x plus 500 is equal to negative 4 plus minus 7 times i. Move this 500 to the right hand side, this will become x is equal to negative 500 minus 4 plus minus 7 times i and this will become x is equal to negative 504 plus minus 7 times i. From here we get uh, second value of x, x2 is equal to negative 504 plus uh, 7 times i uh, x3 is equal to negative 504 minus 7 times i. So, we have uh, 3 solutions for this equation negative 492, negative 504 plus 7i and negative 504 minus 7i.